How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another show. This is You May Roscoe, and I am Roscoe. And today's show, we're going to be doing a reaction to the well to the twelfth performance from a uh, Pentatonics from when they were back on the sing off, uh, uh, right at their genesis, basically uh, them as a whole and uh, complete group. Well, almost because uh, one more person will be added as a subtraction is happening later in their future, but that's in the future. But right here, this is uh, the beginning stages. Uh, but the 12th performance, that's what we'll be checking out before. Uh, and the name of the song is Dog Days Are Over by Florence and Machines. Well, uh, so that's what we'll be doing. Uh, before we check this out, uh, I do want to ask for anybody who hasn't, that they please subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you'll be reminded of future shows when they pop up. Um, we're going to go ahead and dive right into this. Let's do it. Pentatonix is freakish. These guys are making it hot with five. That's hard to do. Oh my gosh. Every one of those kids packs a punch in a big way. I think Pentatonix could be competitive in the music world. They're really innovative and they fuse pop and acapella and make it into this really cool thing. She was bad. You think? She says she thinks that, they, that uh, they're going to uh, be a big thing or uh, make a big splash or however she worded that. But uh, man, uh, little did she know. You're doing things that are the future. Their arrangements are very risky, and they work. They did some real ill stuff with Video Kill the Radio Star. They made themselves skip. Video Kill the Radio Star. Who would think of that? You know what I'm saying? Pentatonix challenge is gonna be, are they gonna do anything new? I mean, how much more new stuff can come out of them? The whole trick is don't become too ambitious with their arrangements where they lose sight of the feeling of the original record. That could be the difference in them staying or leaving. All right, let's see what the judges have in store for Pentatonix. Sarah? Oh, oh, they don't just start up, okay. What song did you guys choose? Well, Pentatonix has a style all their own, and they are always so innovative in their arrangements and pushing the boundaries. So we wanted to challenge them to reimagine a song that has a lot going on, a super powerful lead vocal and some pretty serious drums and percussion. So we chose Florence and the Machines, Dog Days Are Over. Thank you, Sarah. Hoping this day ends with a spot in the finale, performing this year's mega hit, Dog Days Are Over by Florence and the Machine, here is Pentatonix. Wow, that's, um, that's a wrinkle right there, because um, apparently at this point, uh, the judges are picking the songs as opposed to um, earlier in the show when it was on, uh, you know, Pentatonix to pick their own, so uh, that's... um. I think that's dope, though. I think that's, that, that, that is like throw a little monkey wrench in there, even though I'm pretty sure like it's just like reality shows of today, like how much reality is in that for real with their scripts and stuff like that. So they probably gave them some uh, heads up and leeway up in there. But uh, let's see what happens. Happiness hit back like a train on a track coming towards her stuck still no turning The dark days are done, the horses are coming, so you
I, I, I no, let me start, let me start that over. I, 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 I didn't know that we was going finally, finally <laughs> after, after all this time, we finally get the the the, the spotlight on uh, well, what I used to consider as the superhuman uh, of the group until you know. Yeah, I realize they're all superheroes. It's like the Justice League or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? But finally, let's get some spotlight on this man. You know what I mean? So let's let's go back and let's do this. These are over there. The dark days are gone. Can you hear the horses? Here they come. Never Except everything you had and what was left after that to a whole lot of energy and turn up at the end. Woo, Lord have mercy. And now I guess we're going to go ahead and see what the judges have to say about that. You know. So uh, let's see. Thanatonics. They know they snapped too. They know that that was a good performance. Like, like they they had to feel that in their soul. <laughs> like, man, that like they probably were having an out of body experience as this was happening. Like, the, the but they had, the the ghost of them are stayed like right in front of them. Like, we are cutting up. <laughs> like, we are killing it. But um, no, they they are they snapped. They snapped. Oh my god. I'm sure they're gonna tell them that they did the worst job ever. I'm sure that's what's gonna happen. So let's see. If that happens. And in an Ohio note. All right, all right, all right. Sean? Pentatonics, man, you guys are ridiculous, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was like audio drama. We're coming down to the wire of this record contract. So you want to have something that you know that you can play and everybody is like, yo, that is crazy. That's what, you know, this whole thing is about. Um, Mitch. Woo! Say that again for the people in the back. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, man, you have one of the prettiest voices I've ever heard in my life. Dude, and I, I'm sorry, for the, it, it, but it, 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 you know it's hard for like a man to say that, but that's that's true. You know what I mean? Like to, to say that to another man, you know, and, and like you have a pretty voice, but but because like well, how else would you describe that? It's so like, and I, I think the same thing about um, uh, there's a another person who I react to, uh, Joe Shin. Same, it's the same kind of deal, you know what I mean? Like uh, just a pretty voice, you know what I mean? I but I, I think I strayed away from saying pretty, but <laughs> now Sean made it okay. He made it. <laughs> it's it's okay to say to another man like you got a pretty voice, bro. You know, it's like, and now we making it okay. There was so many elements that was just ear candy from Kevin and the horse hooves and the choo-choo trains that you were doing to, you know, the breakdown to Mitch. And, and that was so ingenious, like the way that you guys were able to just give Mitch 
his moment. Yeah. And you were, oh, that was, <laughs> man. It was a wonderful performance. That was awesome. Sarah. Great assessment. You guys are just, you're riveting on stage. You know how to use your instrument, and it's a God-given gift, and you guys all have it. So really, really fantastic performance. I learned today that three of you are 19 years old. <laughs> Mr. Scott, singing the lead on that, is, is 19, am I correct? <laughs> Miss Kirsty is 19 years old, and Mr. Mitch is 19 years old as well. So what we have here is a young group of people that show so much promise and potential to become even that much more great over time. I love hearing you sing. Well done, you guys. It was fantastic. Ben? A surprise is a rare gift in a musical arrangement. They're hard to come by, and you guys always give us one or two of those in every performance. And that one was where Mitch popped in this time, and it's not just about the fact that he has a beautiful voice, which he does, partially the way you guys set that up. And, uh, and then you get a surprise. You guys were so focused. And Avi didn't even want to let go of the focus after the song was done. Yeah. He was just like, my God, that. <laughs> <laughs> the religious experience that I was talking about was happening. That's, that's really in the moment amazing. Thanks for the surprises, guys. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Nice work. All right, judges. We'll find out in moments if Pentatonix will be standing tall in the season finale. Thank you, guys. Coming up, we'll find out talk further and let's see if Pentatonix has more going on back there. Yeah, oh yeah, that looks like something. Yeah. Let's uh, backtrack it just a bit. There we go. This has always been my dream. And now that I can do my dream and like to be recognized like I have it all seen and just a dream come true to me. And I feel so blessed to share with these people. They're my family now. And I want to do this for the rest of my life. And I want to do it with them. So dope, man. That is so dope, man. That was a uh, pentatonix, man. Let's get rid of that. And all right, so. That was a uh, pentatonics with the 12th performance uh, from their parents on the sing off from back in the days with uh, dog days are over. Um, and they did a great job, like a, an amazingly great job. Like um, the, the performance was just off the hook. Like it was so much energy um, in that performance and bravado, you know what I mean? Like they, they, there was a confidence and a cockiness that came with that, you know. And um, again, Avi and um, and Kevin, with the sounds that they were making, they were they were snapping. But um, this was this was probably one of the one of the rare times, even though like um, they those two they held they held it up, held their own. But um, like the voices were more prominent to me this time, you know, like I. Like they, they will stand out and especially when Mitch got his turn, like that was, that was so dope, you know? So uh, great job by everybody involved. Like I said, um, I look forward to uh, continuing this. I'm not sure uh, how many performances are left in this uh, series that I've been doing because I um, have backtracked from the first one up till now. So um, uh, however many are left, we'll get to that. And, uh, see it through, but um, that's it. It's over. That was heat, big time, like huge thumb up, and uh, that's pretty much it. But uh, before I get up out of here, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the share button, hit the playlist option. You'll pick the one named Pentatonix Reactions. You'll watch them, like them, make sure you're not requesting anything that hasn't been reacted to already. Um, also, uh, I have playlists, other playlists. Uh, with uh, with uh, with other artists, uh, other genres of music. Make sure you check out all that stuff as well. You want to be somebody that's uh, like a real supporter. Oh yeah, on you made Roscoe and not one of those, not one of those halfways. You know, like show show some love and 
actually be in it and uh, like be adventurous is what I would suggest, you know, because I know a lot of people, they'll uh, they'll get on the page or just in general, you know, people get stuck into um, the stuff that they like, you know, and that's all that they want to hear. But I would really suggest you give uh, some other stuff a try, you know, and uh, and I try to do that with um, this page is provide, you know, that chance for people to do that. So I have all this other stuff that you uh, may not have run across in your life, but now you have a chance to other genres of music and stuff. So like uh, get up in there and have some fun. Like them playlists ain't there for nothing. <laughs> you know, get up in there. You know, so um, check all that stuff out. Uh, that's it. That's all the Cash App is right there on the screen. It's uh, kind of meshed in there with some other words, but it's uh, dollar sign you made Roscoe. So uh, if you like to show any uh, any support, any support to the page, any uh, show of appreciation, you know, it's always welcome. You know, so you'll do that uh, through that. But um, now it's time to go. So I will see you guys on the flip side. Until then, be good.